Hey everyone, so Yvonne and I are back in China as you can see. So I thought it'd be a good idea to take you out. Yes. Uh, last year around this time we were here in, as well. And that was just where, before everything opened up again. So we thought it would be fun to take you out again and to show you what everything looks like now. Yeah, so last year during the pandemic, everything shut down right around this time. And for the last three years, uh, the economy has slowed down and a lot of people have been talking about it. So we thought, well, one year has passed and it'd be a good idea to go out and just see what it's like on the streets. Has traffic picked back up or is it still as slow as it was during those times? Yeah. So we're going to take you around and show you what it looks like. So last year we took you to this famous street here in Beijing. And this street is called Nanlo Gusheng, which is uh, a famous walking street here in Beijing. And today, it's kind of busy. Yeah. I would say this is light traffic, to be honest. I've seen it busier. Since, think... since last year, I've seen it much busier. Oh yeah, since last year too. And even like, free seat. Free seat. Previously, it, yeah. yeah. Free, free seat times, I've also seen it busier. I think I saw some clips of that. Also, um, yeah, it's not too crazy busy, but a lot of new shops actually. Right, so last time we were showing you how all the shops had been closing down because basically this whole street you had to scan to get in. You have to do the COVID scan like to prove where you've been. And just people really weren't coming down this street because people just weren't traveling at that time. So a lot of the shops had closed up. But now some of them are coming back. Looks like this one's just closed. Or it's opening. Yeah, they're gonna get it. But a lot of the shops have come back. And today it's light traffic actually. I was expecting a little bit more. But it's a cool But day. still quite a bit more than it was during those times. The few times we came down here during the whole COVID situation, yeah, it was almost nobody. And you, I'll show the clips, obviously. I'm sure I'm going to put them on the screen. You'll see that there was literally nobody here when we came through. So there's been a lot of talk, I guess, online about China's economy. And specifically around the housing and around youth unemployment. And, um, you know, it's hard to get official data on a lot of those things. And so a lot of it's speculation. What we wanted to show you in this video is just kind of the general foot traffic. We'll go to the mall later because that's where we were last year and see how busy it is in the mall. And this is a Sunday mid-noon. It's like 1 o'clock or something, 12.31. And uh, it's just a regular Sunday. Nothing special, no holiday, nothing like that. Um, we wanted to give you kind of what it's like on a regular weekend which we did, I think, the same in the last video. It was a Sunday, I think, we went out. Uh, I'm thinking about it, that, that was a year ago, and then even less than a year ago, we were still kind of living it in a way that there were still restrictions, because this, well, in 2023, uh, April, I went to the Netherlands for the first time since like four-ish years, ever since kind of things closed off, and I was planning to stay for only one week, but because there were still restrictions, you still had to have a negative test. Uh, I couldn't come back right away because I got sick. I tested positive, so I had to wait wait another week. <coughs> and that was in April. So that's only eight months ago. Yeah, so full restrictions without even having to have any tests or scans or anything coming through the airport, I think kind of ended in like June of last year, which is basically yeah. like six months ago. I rarely come down here because, well, it's a tourist street and I don't have any reason to be here but it's important to show I think when you're talking about like economic activity because a lot of these people have traveled from somewhere yeah. they're and they're not Beijingers. just Beijingers because Beijingers wouldn't really come down here so this gives you an idea of how much travel I mean not a good idea but it gives you kind of an idea of well people are traveling again and the streets are filling up again and that's economic activity essentially because all these people have bags and all of them are going in and buying little pastries and ice creams and so that shows that people have money to spend because they're willing to come out and spend it obviously if nobody had money and nobody had any um, 
everybody was struggling, they wouldn't be coming out and buying Starbucks and Starbucks mugs and other things. All right, after a cold little ride yeah. <laughs> on the scooter, we've made it to our next stop, which is... Raffle City. Uh, quite a big shopping mall here. Bong Juman bathing area. Yeah, we went in here last time. Yes. And they actually made us scan, even though the rules had gone away. Yeah. So this time, obviously no scaring either. But we're gonna go in and see just yeah. how busy it is. And Maybe the people who aren't shopping at the Gushong are here today because it's quite cold to bathe there. Warm yeah, so we'll hopefully we'll warm up and maybe grab a coffee here. <laughs> Starbucks is closed in this mall. We were hearing a lot of people are saying that places were closed because the employees were sick. But most of the shops here seem to be open, to be honest. But it is kind of a weird feeling to be out. And it feels like there's something not right. All right, just walking in, we can already see there's way more activity than last time because last time it was only the Waimai and kind of like the food delivery guys. They're all going down to the food court. Maybe we should go down to the food court. Looks like that's where it's happening. And then we'll go back up because uh, we're just going to kind of show you what it's like in the mall like we did last time. So as you can see, quite a few people down in the food court area and uh, quite a few people still wearing masks. But there was a weird scare a couple of weeks back, like a month ago, with a new like, thing going around. So that might be why a lot of people are still wearing their masks. Yeah. It's also winter and so there just tends to be more like colds and flus going around so people tend to wear their masks. So last time we walked up here, the Starbucks was closed and actually many of these shops were even closed because there was signs saying that the, like, sorry for the inconvenience, but the employees are sick <laughs> and the Starbucks was closed. That was when everybody was sick, yeah. But as you can see, things are open again. Oh, you can try and get your glasses fixed. This Starbucks is open. There's also another one down on the first floor. You can see there's a bit of traffic. I would say, again, like I haven't really come to this mall that frequently, but I would say it is fairly normal traffic as like pre-pandemic times. As I look all the way down, the people eating. Oh, that guy's got a big bowl of noodles. Um, but I would say Compared to what it was previously, you can see there's quite a few people walking on each level all the way up to the top. Well, I don't see anybody at the top, but you get the idea. Far more economic activity than during those three years and specifically during that period when everything was opening up. All right, so we're here now in San Litoon, which is a popular shopping area. And last time I showed you this uh, in that last video from a year ago, because normally it's bustling. And as you can see now, there's quite a few people out. It's a uh, cold day, so maybe not as many people as other days, but compared to last time, you can see there's a lot of people out and uh, the economic activity is higher than it was during that period of time. We're gonna walk through and I'll show you Kind of the center and then we'll go down into kind of the underground shopping area where we went last time to look at the movie theater and things like that just to see how many people are out and about now there's starbucks you need another coffee <laughs> starbucks everywhere in this country at least in the big cities as, as we're going through there's quite a few people walking around out here shopping Oh, some new stores. I never come down here, so I don't know what this this store is. Yeah, it's a new store. Oh, there's a Polo Ralph Lauren. Was that always there? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, there's a coffee shop at the bottom too. Yeah. It's been there for a while. So as you can see, there's way more people than last time, because uh, last time it was pretty much empty. I don't know what these big purple balloons are for. Pink balloons, purple balloons. Oh, let's go over to the Apple store. <laughs> oh, oh my god. <laughs> it looks packed from here. 
But as you can see. Oh, oh as we're getting our photos home. taken, I'm taking a photo of him. It's like that, that meme. If you're taking my photo, I'm taking your photo. <laughs> yeah, if you come down here, they love to take pictures of fashionable people. We are not looking very fashionable. No, but, but we we're matching one and two. Um, <laughs> and two, we have uh, a tall person next to a short person, which is pretty interesting. Uh, I should just let her go stand for a while. She'll get all her pictures taken. All right, we're not going to go into the Apple store, but you can see there's plenty of people inside. But I've seen it busier. I've seen it busier, yeah. But again, this is just showing what it's like yeah. today. So. And also just, I mean, there's a lot of people, but also here, I've seen it busier, I think. But then again, like we were saying, it's a colder day, so. And again, we're trying to show the truth. We're not trying to, to come out on a national holiday and be like, this is normal. <laughs> <laughs> this is what it's always like. No, it's a uh, it's, uh, normal Sunday. And there's a good amount of people. I mean, there's still like 100 plus people out here in this square probably if we were to count them up. So, and they're all buying different things and getting their photos taken. Or we're getting our photos taken. Look at him, here he comes. I'm taking a photo of you, he's taking a photo of me. <laughs> um, yeah, so we'll go down to the movie theater, I think it's around here somewhere, to give an idea of what it's like in that little shopping area. But this is, all, again, just a normal Sunday. I'll put the date, what is the date, the 8th? The 7th or the 8th? This is the 7th? Or is it the 8th? The 7th. So, kind of a normal, random Sunday. Nothing happening. And lots of people out and about. Oh no, the movie theater's gone. The movie theater's gone. The movie theater used to be right here. Have we lost the movies? The movies used to be right here. <laughs> the movie theater's gone. Oh no, I guess because I haven't been going to the movies. So maybe it's not just me. Nobody's going to the movies anymore. I'm pretty sure it's almost, I'm almost a positive it's right here. So last time we also came down into this food court to kind of show you how empty it was. And what I'm seeing is all these out. And these are like the bouquets to show like something's opened. And there's some here for this place. It looks brand new. Over here, I see brand new stuff. So new restaurants that have opened. This one here in the corner. This one in the center, and then over here there's a Deli NYC, which also has some. Yeah, sandwiches and coffee bar. Looks cute. But you can see all these, um, the bouquets are out here, indicating a brand new, like an opening. So within a couple of, I guess, days or weeks, it's been open. So let's go through and show you kind of how things are recovering because this one was like really dead. It all just seems like they're rebranding the entire mall because I don't remember it being called T Plus Mall. No, it was called Top Wind. Oh, Top Wind Mall. Yeah, it was Top Wind. Yeah, so so now there's a new name, so it might be under new management. Last time I don't remember the Malatong place. And here, look more. Um, it all looks. It all looks really brand new. new. Oh, it's all. Red. It's all new. It wasn't red before. No, and like also like lots of these bouquets because that usually indicates oh, yeah. like a new shop. I don't remember any of these. Here's like a, a Korean looking place, Bimibop. Oh yeah, Bimibop. Yeah, Bimibop. Ooh, Korean food's good. We should get something. Um, oh, it's also laid out. The layout is very different. Yeah, it's still pretty dead, but at least like nobody opens new stuff. Here's a Japanese place. It looks ramen. Um, but people don't open up stores if they think that it's going to like fail. Like if there's no economic like, well, this one's still dead, yeah. This used to be the shawarma place, I think. Oh, yeah. Because we walked through here, there was a hair salon and a shawarma place. And, uh, oh, they've redone this whole place. There's now a little... There used to be the... Used, used to be a different one. Oh, but look, flowers here. So everything's opened up down here. This is this is interesting, because honestly, I did not know this was going on. No? Well, we Otherwise, I would not have come. I mean, I would have come to show it, obviously, but like I didn't plan this. 
Yeah, some is still closed off, obviously. And there's stuff on this side that hasn't recovered. Um, but it's been redesigned because they redesigned this kind of circular things in the center. Remember, it used to be two sides. Now they have these circular... We'll show the footage, obviously. So some of it is still closed down. Like, this whole half is still closed or they're working on it. Yeah, that's what I mean, like closed or they're working on it. So this looks like something that might open up soon. Oh, here's the Schwama place. It is still here. It was just, they've redone the look of it. So this side is clearly, you can see all the red. It's, there's nothing here. But you can clearly see that it's been redeveloped and redesigned. Now, will it survive? That's the question. Because it's never been, yeah, like you said, it's never really been a... Nobody goes here because there's no atmosphere. Yeah, it's kind of like ghost kitchen type stuff. But you can see that it's night and day oh, from yeah. where we have. I mean, there is still people. There are still people down here too. Yeah. Like there are people eating. Compared to last time, it was completely empty, and and the lighting was all off, and it was dead, and it was yeah. cold and dreary coming up from the downstairs because the downstairs was like the area where the food court is and we're coming back upstairs last time we walked through here to show you how everything was a bit uh dead or dying it still looks that way to be honest all this says coming soon but coming soon can mean anything to be honest and so all these are still um well coming soon and there's a bakery it looks like okay is coming okay bakery right it could have been it could have been from from any time this place seems kind of open oh it's the dim sum place yeah so and there's some people in there but uh as you can see a lot of this part of the mall is still under developed and not really happening all right, so as we got our pictures taken again from this guy over here, <laughs> um, we are going to end this video here. As you saw, we went around to a couple of places. Yeah. And yeah, you can tell the difference between the, what it was like and what it's like now. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and so a lot of people have talked about kind of the economy of China struggling. It's hard to say, obviously, from this, uh, yes. but this is anecdotal. We can show you kind of what it was like and what it is like now so what it was and what it is yeah. and you would um, see the real numbers to make an, like an actual comparison yeah um but also if you want to see the other the full video of uh like a year ago what we did you can click here yeah you can go draw yeah. the full video it's basically all the places we went to today um we went in that video and you can see how different it is uh, maybe I'll do a video in the future about the economy and maybe dig into the numbers. If you guys want to see that video, leave a comment. Let me know that you're interested in that video. And uh, don't forget to subscribe. And if you want to become a member, we we are gaining members. So that would be that would be awesome. And subscribers were almost at 100k. Yeah. So subscribe, become a member, do all the things, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye bye. Bye bye.